Um, well, welcome. It's uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's very exciting um, to be part of the introduction of this new Dolby 7.1 format. As Craig mentioned, uh, this is in a sense historic because for the first time we're taking the theatrical mix, the true discrete eight channel 7.1 mix, and putting it into the Blu-ray. Um, in in the past. Uh, there have been some 7.1 releases. They have been five, from the 5.1 theatricals and adjusted. And so this is actually the first true 7.1. Um, so it's quite exciting. Um, part of my job as a supervising sound editor and a sound designer is to try to tell the story with sound. And one of the wonderful things about a movie like Megamind is that it's limitless. The, the only limit really is our imagination. So um, uh, every sound should somehow contribute to the story, should tell, should create characters, should create a mood, um, be a performance. So uh, that's kind of the starting point for us philosophically. The sound for us is just in, as important, if not more important sometimes, than the image. And together, they create an alchemy that is cinema. So um, usually the way I start when I'm working um, on any movie is I'll start to build a palette of sounds. And I kind of think of it as cooking, like uh, you're a chef. And uh, some chefs like may use canned foods. <laughs> and for me, um, it's a source of pride that uh, every sound I use, I want it to be made for the movie and signature to that movie. So um, using the cooking metaphor, um, the ingredients are planted in the garden, nurture them, they grow, and that's what I cook with. So a movie like Megamind, there are a lot of sounds. <laughs> um, and uh, so I took a few months building that palette, that sonic palette, before even putting any sounds to picture. And for me, that's kind of like imagination and playtime. Uh, I can sit in my dark room and just go abstract. And uh, so um, for Megamind, our main character is a mad scientist. Um, he's a, a quirky mad scientist, often usually fails at everything he does. <laughs> and uh, so, so sonically, those sort of character traits need to come out. So this. So one of the directions from our director, Tom McGrath, was to the sound should be quirky, like Megamind is. Um, so that raises the challenge. Well, OK, how do you make things quirky? Uh, he has his lair, his laboratory. Um, he has all of these gadgets and machines, a giant robot he marches around in. All of, all of that needed to have that quirkiness um, just be a little bit off, just like Megamind is. 